Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For the tenth Sunday after Pentecost, the beginning of the second week of Martyr's Tide. Our psalm this evening will be the intro at Psalm for today out of the Lutheran service book, Altar Book. And that is Psalm 55, verse 1, 12 through 14, and 16. And as an antiphon, we will use Psalm 55, verse 22. Again, as with all these, all these introits, I'll put the description, I'll put the entire introit in the description below. Psalm 55. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. For it is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals insolent with me, then I could hide from him. But it is you, a man, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to take sweet counsel together. Within God's house, we walked in the throng. But I call to God, and the Lord will save me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom. Teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, cleanse and defend your church by the sacrifice of Christ, united with him in holy baptism. Give us grace to receive with thanksgiving the fruits of his redeeming work and daily follow in his way. The same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. 
I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, to have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me. The evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, bless thee and keep thee. Lord, make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.